so the the thing I've been thinking about lately, so it's it's uh, November, as I look at my phone, November 29th. Um, tomorrow is is tomorrow, December, November 30th, right? And so we have we have 31 days left in this year. Um, and or whatever it is, 31, 32 days left in this year. And, and everyone, when it comes to goals, everyone kind of focuses on January 1st, right? January 1st, I'm going to start working on uh, my fitness. January 1st, I'm going to start working on my health. January 1st, I'm going to start uh, saving money. January 1st, I'm going to start writing a book. January 1st, I'm going to start working on my leadership or my mindset or relationships or a business or whatever it is. And January 1st is just a day, right? We've, we've made it this symbolic thing. And I know that it's the turning of the calendar, that it's symbolic of a, of a new year and new beginnings. But I think when it comes to our mindset and when it comes to our goals, when it comes to our dreams, things that we want, like we actually need to have a mindset of urgency. Because if it's worth working on in January, 30 days from now, it's worth working on today. And, and most research shows that like 91% of New Year's goals fail. And there's a, there's a number of reasons why that is, but what if you just started today and then what happens, you know, they say that most habits, it takes 30 days to build a habit. Well, what if you start today, start today on your health, start today on your fitness, start today on your mindset, start today on your leadership, start today on your relationship, on your communication, on that business, whatever that thing is that you were waiting until January to start. What if you just started today and then you had a full month? of building healthy practices, of building building healthy habits. And so that when January 1st hits, you're actually slingshotting into the new year with that habit already formed. You're building a foundation that will actually allow you, once you get to 2022, to succeed in those goals, to not be part of the 91% who fail on their New Year's resolutions. You can get a head start and say, no, I don't need to wait until that day. I can start today because it's worth it to start today. Why? And, 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 not to be too um, too morbid or negative, like we're also not guaranteed tomorrow. Right? We don't know what's going to happen in the next 30 days. And not that we should expect the worst, right? That's not a healthy way to live. But the point is to take advantage of what we have right now. You have today. You have this moment. Why wouldn't you want to get better today? Right? Imagine actually being in a conversation uh, with one of your, maybe you, maybe you lead someone. Right? You have an employee that you're leading and they're talking about their goals and things that they need to work on. Um, they need to work on this skill. They need to get better at being organized. They need to get better at how they communicate in meetings. Like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll start on that in January. You, no, we're going to start on that today. <laughs> Those are things you need to work on today. Those are habits you need to put into place today. Or imagine being that leader of your team saying, guys, I know that our culture needs to get better. Now, I know that I need to get better as a leader. Uh, because if we're going to get better, I know that it starts with me. So uh, I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to start until January. Yeah, I'm going to wait you know, a month or so until I start to work on my leadership. Your team would look around and say, what are you talking? No. <laughs> like, why, why would you wait that long? If you know you need to work on it, why wouldn't you work on it today? And so I think as leaders and as people, like we need to have a sense of urgency, not a sense of panic but a sense of urgency to say, if I want to actually get better at this thing, if I want to work on this thing, if I want to accomplish this thing, I don't need to wait. I need to take action today because what I also know is that the longer you wait, the more difficult it gets to begin, All right? Because starting is hard. And I know again, at January 1st is this symbolic thing. Like it feels easy to start January one because everyone's talking about new year's goals and changing uh, how you operate in the new year. So it feels easier, but starting is difficult. Right? It's hard to start working on your fitness. It's hard to start writing that book. It's hard to start um, that working on that business. It's hard to start working on your leadership. But the more you talk about it and the more you delay, the harder it gets. Until eventually you're going to keep looking, oh, I wish I would have. If only I had started then. Right? It's just like we've, we've talked before about having difficult conversations. The longer you wait to have a difficult conversation with someone, whether that's an employee, a teammate, a spouse, a friend, the harder that conversation gets to have. Right, the more distance you get between when the conversation should happen and when it does happen, the more difficult that conversation becomes. The same is true with starting our goals. The greater the distance between when you decide on a goal and when you actually start working on it, the more difficult it gets to number one, start, number two, finish. And what if you would give yourself a chance, give yourself a head start on 2022 by starting now? January 1 isn't a magic date. It's just a day. All right, there's nothing wrong 
There's nothing unsexy about starting your goals on November 29th or November 30th or December 1st. All right, today is a great day to get better. So what if you took some ownership of your mindset? What if you took some ownership of your goals? What if you took some ownership of your expectations and your hopes and dreams that you have for next year and decided to start on them today? What if you had urgency to say, if, I, if, if it's worth working on then, it's worth working on now. I'm going to make that a priority. I'm not going to wait to be a better leader. I'm not going to wait to get healthy. I'm not going to wait to start changing my financial habits. I'm not going to wait to work on my mindset. I'm going to start today. And when you start today, you give yourself the confidence and the momentum to keep going tomorrow and to keep going the next day and to keep going the next day. Then when you get to January 1, you can look back like, I've got a 30-day head start. I'm, I'm already further ahead than I should be on January 1. I've got thir a 30-day head start. I'm already running down the right path. I don't need to start on the path. I don't need to figure out the path. I'm already on the path. How much easier would that race be to run if you gave yourself a head start, right? Imagine you're a marathon runner and they say, hey, guess what? You don't have to do all 26 miles. We're going to let you come in at mile 21. We're going to give you a head start. Great. Right. Why, why wouldn't we take that opportunity? If they're going to say, Hey, all is equal. This isn't, we're not going to consider you cheating. We're going to say, you know what? We're going to give you a head start and say, awesome. I would love to take advantage of that opportunity. Well, take advantage of this opportunity. You have the opportunity today to start working on your mindset, to start working on your habits, to start working on your goals, to start working on your dreams, to give yourself a head start for the new year, to run into 2022 already in the right mindset already healthier than you were. You can already rack up some wins to build that confidence to run into the new year. So have a sense of urgency, right? You don't need to wait for things. You don't need to wait to start to get better. Today is the day to get better, right? Why wait? The more we wait, the more difficult it gets. The more we wait, the longer we're going to wait. The more we wait, the greater our chance of failure in our goals, in our habits, in our mindset. So decide to start today. Set yourself up for success today. Give yourself a better chance of hitting those goals by starting today. Don't wait. Don't delay. Have a mindset of urgency and dig in to your 2022 goals and hopes and dreams and mindset and habits in 2021. Tracy, what do you think? Love it. Love it. I was just looking up <laughs> the top 10 uh, New Year's resolutions for 2021. And I'm wondering if they're going to be the same. You know, I, I tried Probably. to look up yep. 1950. I couldn't see it. But here, here's a few of them. I won't say more. Uh, obviously, focusing on your health, right? Your mm -hmm. physical health, looking after your finances. I think we could predict mm -hmm. these. Um, pursuing an aspiration, investing in your relationships, mm -hmm. looking after your mental health, living more sustainably. Mm -hmm. uh, dis disconnecting from your phone and reading more books. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I really hadn't thought of this. Why do we feel like we have to prep in order to make changes? Why, why, do, why do we feel like we right. have to give ourselves just, a just do it. Yeah. Weeks? Yeah. Let's just do it. Yeah. And again, okay. and how weird it sounds like, yeah, I'll be a better husband in January. I'll start right. working on that. Like my, <laughs> my wife would be like, uh, what? How about we start today? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, you know, and people start having these conversations probably like August, September, right? They're already thinking about the next year. Mm -hmm. And then you've wasted a whole quarter of a year <laughs> thinking about what you're going to work on. And this isn't, right. you know, yes, there are times to make plans for certain things and certain things need uh, to have the right timing. Most mm -hmm. of the stuff that we're talking about doesn't. You just start, you just do it. Yeah, but I'll be a better husband in January. I'll be a better wife in January. I'll be, <laughs> it just, it sounds ridiculous when you actually say it out loud because that, that's what we're really saying. Um, and it's, it's, and some people are like, well, I've not finished my 2021 goals. It's okay. Like you can still start, start on the new ones, right? You can, you can do both things. It's okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Anthony has a question coming in. How important do you think it is to have small wins early on to give you momentum versus making sure that each of your goals is a stretch? Yeah, I think it's massive. I actually had a conversation uh, with a team in the UK this morning about this very thing because we set big goals, right? And that's that's a pretty normal thing, right? You want to lose 50 pounds or write a book or whatever whatever it may be. Um, and, and good goals, good things, but they can also seem overwhelming. And so it's when you start out, right, it can, it can feel um, overwhelming. It can feel frustrating. Progress can feel like it's not happening fast enough. So you get dissatisfied with the pace of progress. 
but to break it down, like what are some small wins that you can have, right? Again, if, if you're trying to lose 50 pounds, that's a, that's a big goal. I don't care how, what your current weight is. That, that's a big goal. If it's 20 pounds, 30 pounds, well, a small win is going to the gym tomorrow. That, that's a win and, like, and that should be celebrated. And then when you go the next day, you should celebrate that because what you're doing is, and we've talked about this before on Monday mindset, but you're giving yourself the two things you need to keep going on your goals are confidence and momentum. And so you go to the gym today, right? Fear and insecurity is going to set in tomorrow. Like you can't go to the gym today. You're, you're, you, it was too hard yesterday. Remember how, how sore you feel today? You're, you're not, you're not going to make it. You're going to lose 20 pounds. Like why even go just quit, but you can look back at yesterday. Like, no, no, no I did. I went yesterday. I went yesterday. So I'm confident I can go again today. Well, then you go two days in a row. And now you have two days worth of evidence, two days worth of confidence. And now you also have momentum. And so that momentum will carry you to the next day and the next day. And, you, and you'll miss a day, right? That's that's fine to not beat yourself up for, for falling off the path every now and then. But to say falling off the path is part of the path. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a perfect path. Uh, but whenever that you, you, you fail, if you want to consider missing a day failure, the next day that fear and insecurity is going to kick in again. So yeah, you failed yesterday. You're like, why? Just Just quit now. No, I've got the confidence that I can do it because I've already gone seven days in a row or whatever it may be. And so I think getting those small wins early on, I, I think is so critical and, and to not dismiss those, right? We say all the time, like small wins are still wins. Baby steps are still steps. Uh, and those things should be celebrated because they give you that confidence to keep going. True. Yeah, I'm going to put in a shameless plug really quickly. For those of you watching who are maybe interested in Giant and what we do, um, I think you all know that we certify coaches around the world. We have about 700 coaches right now in our ecosystem all over the world, many, many different countries. And so those folks that started the certification program the first week in November, they will be certified. They will finish their certification program uh, by January 1st. And now those people are getting to start a brand new career in mm -hmm. leadership development coaching um, because they made the decision to start in November. They had eight mm -hmm. weeks. They knew the, the holidays were coming and yet they, 40 of them, I believe 38, 40, something like that started beginning of November. And now they will be full fledged giant certified coaches, um, beginning of January. So I wanted to let you all know that we are every month, we start a new cohort of people who want to become certified. So you would be able to do a lot of what Kevin does, you know, Kevin's mm -hmm. got his clients that he works with in the industries that he loves the most. And it's just a really fulfilling career, right? Kevin? Yeah, it's it's yeah. incredible. And and the other piece of that, you could if you don't want to build a business off of it, which is okay, that's hard. But if that is a dream you've had, then now is the time to add that into your into your skill set, right? To get certified, to add that um, add that credibility, add that um, add that opportunity for yourself. But if you if you just want to use it inside your company, you can be what we call a catalyst. It's the same thing. You can still get certified. You're like, I don't want the pressure of building a business. I just want to use it with my current team. Awesome. You can get certified in that as well and use it inside of your company. If you've, if you've, if a goal for 2022 for you is to invest in your leadership individually uh, and invest in your team culture, becoming a, a catalyst is a great way to do that because it gives you the tools to actually make those things become a reality. It gives you the tools to be a better leader. Mm -hmm. Also gives you the tools to create better culture and higher performance in in your team and in your organization. So it's an easy way to, because that's I think part of the issue when we set these goals. How am I going to do, it? especially around leadership? I'm going, to be, I'm going to be a better leader in 2022. Well, how? You need yeah. a roadmap. You need a plan. Otherwise, you're going to fail at that because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a hard, you've, you've got to navigate all this stuff. Well, the giant certification is, is the path. It is the plan uh, to set you up for success. Again, if you want to build a business off of it, uh, if you've had a dream of doing that, or if you just want to use it in, inside of your company. And, and the idea is, you know, we, it, you just don't need to wait to get ready for things. You want to be, you want to be ready. Right. Cause what can not to have a doomsday scenario. Let's say something happens in January where you need to have a better mindset, where you needed to have better health, where you needed to be a better communicator, where you needed to have a, a stronger relationship, where you needed to have more influence, but you wait until January to start working on those things. You're, you're not, you're not, you're going to be going into that battle unprepared without the mindset, without the influence, without the communication, without the skills. Mm -hmm. But to, to start working towards that now, so when that moment comes of adversity, we've talked about it all the time. All the time, adversity will hit. You'll be prepared, right? You don't don't wait to get healthy until you need to get healthy. Don't wait to get better until you need to get better. Um, start doing those things today. Mm, that's great. Yeah. So if you're listening and you're 
at all interested, you can always go to giantworldwide.com. There's a video there that'll give you more specifics about just our coaching program. We call it a guide program. Or even if you're interested in Catalyst, go ahead and watch that video. And then at the end, there's a link where you can just set up a call with one of us at the headquarter team here and we'll answer questions. There's no obligation. It's not like because you clicked on that button, you have to do it. Just it might be something that you can inquire about. It might be something interesting you can start in 2022. So we'd love to have you. Well, Again, Kevin, it's always good. I love uh, this concept. And it looks like we had even a, a couple of new viewers today. So thank you all those of you who joined in on Facebook and LinkedIn and the giant platform. So we will see you uh, next week, right? We'll be back. Absolutely. Same yep. time, same place. All right. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Have a good week.